Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be doing another video in the series of defunct hockey teams, and today we get the Columbus Cotton Mouths. Uh, so let's begin. The Columbus Cotton Mouths were a professional ice hockey team based in Columbus, Georgia. The team was nicknamed the Snakes and played their home games at Columbus Civic Center. In 2017, the team had suspended operations after failing to find a new owner. Okay, so here's our history now. Uh, the CHL history right now. In 1996, the Columbus uh, Cotton Mouths started playing in the CHL, uh, joining uh, Mancun Whoopi and the National Nighthawks as an expansion in, as expansion entries uh, that were originally slated to be in the SH, uh, SHL before its demise in the summer of 1996 along with the Memphis River Kings and established the CHL franchise in the Huntsville Channel Cats SBHL champion in 1996 in the lone one surviving franchise from that league. The Columbus, Columbus and um, and the other two expansion SHL teams formed the new East Division of the CHL in 1996-97. And... Okay, so... Let me find my place. Sorry, I lost it. Okay, so... East Division. In 1998, the team won the CHL championship chip defeating the Wichita Thun Thunder in a four game sweep. The cl the clum the Cotton Mouse were in the CHL players each of their five seasons in the league, making it to the league finals in two thousand and two thousand one before losing to Indianapolis Ice and the Oklahoma City Blazers respectively in the summer of two thousand one. If you guys want me to do um the Oklahoma City Blazers, Huntsville Channel Cats, Indianapolis Ice uh, Memphis R River Kings or pretty much any team um, just put in the comments I will do it uh, so yeah Oklahoma City Blazers respectively and they're uh, in, in summer 2001 the CHL merged with the WPHL uh, uh, and graphic rivals and Huntsville and Mancun were lost they leading uh, the Lean Cotton Mouse Leading the Cotton Mouse to seek and obtain an entry into the East East Coast Hockey League, which it's called now just the East HL. They dropped the East Coast Hockey League part. Uh, the DVA Sports, uh, composed of owners of composed of owners um, Severder Does version, uh, Shelby and Shel Shelby Amos purchased the defunct Hampton Roads Admirals East HL franchise, removing it. Relocating it to Columbus after under the Cotton Mouse name. Okay, so from two thousand two one to two thousand four, the Columbus Cotton Mouse organization played uh, in the East NHL, bringing them their longtime captain Jerome Boom Boom Bouchard. That was ironic. I said Boom Boom, and it thundered. Okay then, <laughs> that ain't a sign that some bullshit's about to happen. I don't know what is. And uh, head coach Bruce Garber, in the three seasons of the con that Columbus spent in the East in the ECHL, they failed to make the playoffs. And way through their second season in the ECHL, Garber, the only coach in team history, resigned. The general manager Phil Roberto took over. Uh, the remainder of the season, their best season in East HL was their last. Prior to 2003 to 4 season, the team announced sign the signing of their new coach, former e NHL enforcer Brian Curran. They finished uh, with a 37-27-8 record, tied the Greensboro Generals for their best record by a non-playoff team that season. In April 2004, the Cotton Mouse management announced their intentions to move their East HL franchise back to. Uh, Britain, Sumatra, uh, I have no idea how to say that, if you guys do, area in Florida. The team, which was later named the Gulf Coast Swords, if you guys want, oh, never mind, they never came to uh, fruition, but uh, would never come to fruition as financial setbacks delayed the construction of their to-be-home arena. 
Finally, after a foreclosure of, on the arena property and numerous delays, the East St. Joe revoked the sports franchise in the league in the summer of 2006. In 2004, okay, this is the SPHL. The Clemson Cotton Mouse organization joined the Sun Professional Hockey League as one of its inaugural members. Um, led by first year coach and Columbus hockey legend Jerome Bouchard, the team won their first SPHL championship in 2006. I mean, in 2005, uh, by first winning in a one playoff game against the a one playoff game against the Fayetteville Fire Ants by a four to two score. Then they next swept the regular season champion Knoxville Ice Bears to advance to the league finals, which they won uh, against the Mancoon Tracks. They are now called the Mancoon Mayhem, by the way. Uh, with two straight victories, ending a three to t- ending in a three to two overtime. The Snakes' victory. Uh, kept an undefeated postseason in which they'd won five games. Ooh, five games. Not a full 16. Yay, cool. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Uh, in 2007, the Columbus team won the SP Charles Commissioner's Cup as the team with the best uh, season record, but was ousted in the first round by the Jacksonville Ver- Barracudas. Mmm, where does that... Sound familiar? Or, oh yeah, the 2019 Cincinnati Cyclones did the exact same thing. Except it wasn't Jacksonville; it was uh, Toledo that asked them in the second round. But other than that, it's the exact same story. By the Jacksonville Vercutas, who won the series three games to one. In 2008, the Snakes' 22-24 uh, and sixth record was the Columbus Hockey's first losing record since 2000. Two three in the first one by a non HL team. And on April fourteenth, two thousand twelve, the Cottonmouths won their second Presidents Cup championship with a two games the two game sweep of the Pensacola, Pensacola Ice Fly- Flyers. The Snakes won game one three to two and then completed the championship series three to one road victory over the Ice Flyers. The Cottonmouths were undefeated in the playoffs. Six to zero. On January 19, 2017, the best carry in the Cotton Mouse was involved in a rollover on I-74 on the way to the Peoria Riverman. To, uh, 24 players in the staff were during this incident. Uh, in March 2017, it was announced that the owners, Wanda and Shelby Amos, were selling the team and the general manager uh, and head coach. Bouchard was in charge of looking for a buyer. Dallas cited mountain, mounting financial losses as the reason to sell the team and they would cease operations if the new buyer was not found in 2017. May 3rd, the team officially suspended operations for the 2017-18 season. However, SPHL potential ownership was was confirmed by the residential world media headed by Fidel Jenkins and that the purchase was still in negotiation negotiations with the SPHL. However, it was also stated that the Cottonmouth branding would not be included in the purchase and would instead be called the Clems Burn. In August, uh, the league terminated the application of the Burn to join the league. In 2019, the professional hockey returned to Columbus in the FHL as the Columbus River Dragons. Okay, so season by season, season records, this Let's just go by the playoffs. Okay, so in 2000... I need to stop doing that. In 1996-97, they lost in the quarterfinals. In 1997-98, uh, to 98, they won the Levens Cup. In 1998-99, to 99, they lost the division finals. In 1990-2000, to 2000, they lost the Myron Cup finals. And the same thing happened in 2000-2001. to 2001. In the ECHL, they spent three years... Uh, in 2000 to 2001, they did not qualify for, for the playoffs each of those years from 2001 to 2004. Oof. It's got to be embarrassing not never qualifying for the playoffs. <laughs> it's got to be kind of embarrassing. 
Um, in the SPHL in 2004 to 5, they won the President's Cup. They lost in the quarterfinals 2005 to 6, 6, 7, 7 to 8. They lost in the semifinals in 8 to 9. 9 to 10, they lost in the first round. They lost in the semifinals again in 2010 to 11. They won the President's Cup in uh, 2011 to 12. 12 to 13, they lost to the quarterfinals, lost in the finals in 2013 to 14, lost in the semifinals, 14 to 15, lost in the, they did not qualify for the playoffs in 2015 to 16, and 16 to 17, they lost in the quarterfinals. Uh, whew, wow. Okay, so championships. Uh, they have the William Levins Memorial Cup in the ECHL. In nineteen ninety seven to ninety eight, um, they also that year won the were the East Division champs and the Adams Cup regular season champions. In nineteen ninety nine to two thousand, they were the East, East Division champs in the CHL as well as in two thousand to two thousand one. They won the Presidents Cup in two thousand four to five in the SPHL and and to the SPHL season of two thousand six to seven the Commissioner Commissioners Cup. They won and and then lastly. In 2011 to 12, they won the President's Cup. That's really all there is to that franchise. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. I only feel alive.